Here's an idea. What if you had a brand new programming language that combines the usability of Python with the performance of C, unlocking unparalleled programmability of AI hardware and extensibility of AI models? Of course, you know prepared? I'm talking about Mojo. Are you talking about a certain language that uses an emoji for its file extension? Do they? So I'm talking about Mojo. Do they use an emoji? Yeah, you, you, it's optional, but yeah, Mojo, you can actually use the fire emoji as the file extension. <laughs> I kind of love that, honestly. I guess because Mojo is fire, if you're, if you're hip to that lingo these days. Mojo means fire, or it's just on fire? I don't know. It just is fire. Don't the kids just say it, it's fire? I think we, kids have moved on from saying it's lit to saying it's fire. Things aren't lit anymore. They're just like, that's fire. I've heard people say that's fire. You two tell me you're the parents in this call. What do the kids say these days? I don't let my kids use emoji. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's right. I'm intentionally dense sometimes. So Mojo is a new thing, sort of. Modular.com. This is coming from Chris Latner and Friends. Recently announced, made big a splash. It's, you know, it's Python compatible as a goal. And but brand new in certain ways. I don't know much about it. What do you know about it, Brett? I only know what I've read on their website. And uh, I did listen to Chris's interview with Lex Fridman and all the Mojo bits, at least. Mm -hmm. um, so their goal, from my understanding, is to be a superset of Python. So fully backwards compatible with Python itself, plus their additions to make uh, additions to the language that allow you to design and write things that are as performant as possible. So they add, for instance, a struct that I think is more like a C struct in a way, very, very hard to find. You can't add extra things to it after you've defined it. It's the orders specified, all that stuff. Uh, they have, I think, FN, I think, instead of def for defined functions where you can type the arguments and everything, and it's guaranteed to be that by the compiler, like, because Python's type hints are hints, like they're kind of documentation that people statically analyze to make sure the documentation is accurate. But technically, you can't rely on it being true um, necessarily. Right. Well, I think Mojo's compiler does that or is supposed to do that. Otherwise, I don't know, honestly. Um, I haven't talked to Chris or anyone from Modular about this. They've talked to Guido, I think, once. They just chatted about and gave him the heads up that this was coming, I think. But like they haven't come to the core dev team and it introduced themselves or anything. I know there's nothing publicly available to just to randomly download. I think you'd be on an invite list to get to play with it through a Jupyter notebook. So good luck to them. I will say the the history, uh, the world of software is riddled with the dead bodies of people trying to reimplement Python. I hope they pull it off because the their goals are quite audacious. And if they pulled it off, that'd be amazing because then it'd be even more Python software out there and then stuff that makes it even faster and it'd be fantastic. But I don't know where they're at because uh, as I said, they haven't really publicly released anything yet. If you read the docs, it reads a lot of, this is what we hope to do and plan to do, <clears throat> not what we have done. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting to see where they're done ends up being.